Oh wow, 2017 is here. This is the first video of 2017. Now the new year is usually full of New Year's resolutions or New Year, New Me. Here's a list of 30 things that need to stop in 2017. Some of them you might be like, what the, I don't, I can't rely on what, what is he even saying? And some of them you be like, oh my, that is so true. So if you guys feel like any of these are relatable to you, please hit that thumbs up button. Let's do it. People that post motivational quotes on Facebook but still live in their parents' basement. Like, who are you to tell me to work hard? This is very frustrating. I see it all the time on Facebook. It's like, work hard, be successful, put in the effort, don't sleep, always be thinking of the next project. I just, I just can't do it. Like, I feel like if you're gonna be motivational or tell me to work hard, you should at least be in a position of working hard as well. The maybe button on Facebook events. That solves nothing. Why is it there? It's either a yes or no. You're coming or you're not. Don't leave maybe. That's just buying them more time to bail. People that take their shoes off on airplanes. Why? No, just because there's carpet doesn't mean you're in your living room. Keep, keep that shit on. It smells. People wearing sunglasses inside. Parents who plead with their toddlers. Famous people naming their kids after fruits. It's gotta stop. People that are scared to lane change on like a highway, so they take like five minutes to do it. Seeing somebody from high school that you kind of know. It's like one of those things where it's like, if I say hi and they pretend not to know me, I'm gonna seem like an ass. I'm not gonna say hi at all. And, and it always happens at like a Walmart, like a Marshalls, something really like, where you can like see them at all times because everything is like eye level. It's very, very uncomfortable. That needs to stop. People bailing on plans through text message, especially last minute. The front facing camera function on Snapchat before 8 a.m. Because nobody uses that. And if they do, it's most likely like an accident and their face is like this. It's so crushing to your self-confidence. I'm like, what? I really look like that shit. Cyclists that act like they own the road. If you're gonna bike on the road with the cars, which yes, you're supposed to, shouldn't you abide by road rules? Like stopping at red lights with cars? Especially the ones that wear spandex. I'm driving, I see booty. All right. I get to the light and the guy looks over, full on mustache. He's like, hey. It's unfortunate. And it hurts my heart. People that debate on a topic they're passionate about, but have very little knowledge on. YouTubers that are pushing their audible.com brand deal. Maybe this one is more directed at audible.com. Stop advertising with every single YouTuber. At this point, I feel like it's just negatively affecting their brand. This is probably my favorite one of the list, okay? <laughs> when I wrote this out, I'm like, holy sh I hope other people can agree with me on this. And this isn't throwing shade at anybody that I follow on Instagram, by the way. Using hashtags like fit hot girl or 420 blaze it when it's a picture of just a mountain. Hating on social media, on social media. We don't need to hear how bad Twitter is through a tweet. As well as, I'm leaving Facebook. Okay, leave. Don't you don't have to announce it to the whole group. We don't really care. Saying you're always busy when you're not really busy at all. Eggnog. That's it. Talking about CrossFit or how like soybeans in Peru are being abused by pesticides. Overly activist people. Dabbing. Let's just no. Let's just get rid of that altogether. I, I don't understand the concept. Whenever there's a kid on the jumbotron or on live TV, they're always dabbing. I, th I feel like that thing's way old now. Is dabbing still cool? People that drive to the front of a lane that is clearly ending, and then throw on their signal like, "Hey, can you guys let me over? It's this lane is like ending." Yeah, no shit, your time isn't better than mine. Why did you not get over when you saw the sign originally? People that leave a voicemail of them hanging up. We're now in 2017. My phone will say when I have a missed call from you. I don't need an additional reminder of Also, how are you guys even making that sound effect in 2017? Wow, you're still using a home phone? That's pretty cool. <laughs> this was mainly for dudes. Bathing suits that cling to your body when you get out of the pool. That pretty much reveals your entire package. It's almost like that heat shrinking saran wrap thing of just your balls. People bashing social media thinking it's only a bad thing. Expand your view just a little bit, okay? Or grouping us all as millennials. Stereotype of millennials that are like, oh my God, gotta take a picture of my food. Like, yes, those exist, but just because you do social media doesn't mean that's you. One-uppers. Okay, you got this great achievement, but they always have one thing that's a little better than yours. Even if it's not true, why can't people just be happy for you? Clapping after a movie's done, or when the plane lands. Okay, I won't hate too much on the movie one, but when a plane lands, that's the, if you had any doubt that the plane wasn't gonna land, why are you on it? The overuse and misuse of the word literally. I literally pissed myself laughing at that joke. Wow, 22 and you're pissing yourself for a joke? Literally dead. Whoa, how did you tweet that if you're literally dead? People that actually say the word 
LOL in real life. Like lol. And I, I have heard people say this before, and I'm just like, what? It's like it's almost replacing laughing. Lol. Lol, 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 lol. You realize lol means laughing out loud. Pointless to say laughing out loud in the form of a word that's not actually laughing out loud. Trying to open a can of ravioli without spraying tomato sauce like everywhere. Metal lids that you bend back and then eventually when it unconnects, it just whoosh, flings it everywhere. Singing the wrong part of a song in a car of people that you don't really know. They're not gonna call you out because they don't really know you. It's worse, it's so awkward. Or when the music stops and you're like full on singing. Why are we calling that hashtag Mariah Carey moment? Or hashtag Mariah Carey. Number 30, this is one that's more important. Ignoring your mental health. Ignoring your mental health is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys have any other ones, please tweet me at DDanocracy or write in the comments down below. I will favorite and I will respond to the best ones in the comment section down below. But for me, those are 30 things that need to stop in 2017. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I'll see you guys in my next video. See you guys later.